In the stages of change cycle, the relapse stage is at any point when the process of change is disrupted. We center relapse in the middle of our model because relapse can occur before or after a change has been adopted. Relapse is simply returning to an earlier stage. In the stages before action, for example, relapse may happen if your loved one abandons the idea of change and moves back to pre-contemplation. Later on, relapse may happen in the maintenance stage if, for example, your loved one decides to discontinue treatment or medication. Relapse can bring up feelings of self-doubt or self-hatred for both of you. Your loved one may think or say things like, see, I knew things couldn't change. I'll never get better. And you may think, all this work for nothing. They never follow through. I'm not good enough to help. While it is natural for relapse to feel like a defeating time, let's reframe the way we think of it. Relapse is not failure. It's part of the process of change, and we all know that change isn't easy to begin, achieve, or maintain. The positive aspects of this change is that you and your loved one both took steps toward wellness before a relapse occurred. In that process, your loved one was able to initiate steps towards change. However, something that was helping them succeed gave way. Watching your loved one relapse may cause you to be angry or disappointed. Perhaps you may think that your loved one really doesn't want to get better. Or maybe the relapse causes you to feel shame or guilt that you couldn't do more. It's important to be gentle with yourself and your loved one during the relapse stage. Take time to process your own emotions and lean on your support system. Talking with a therapist could help and allow you to be more grounded as you provide care moving forward. Once you have worked through your emotions, extend your compassion to your loved one. Be encouraging. Remind them that change is difficult. It may be helpful for them to hear, I'm not going to give up on you and I don't want you to give up on yourself either. Because you've been an observer of the process, your loved one may want your help figuring out what broke down for them and caused the relapse. In some cases, it may be clear. Your loved one stopped going to therapy or attending support groups. Or perhaps your loved one became generally discouraged by not seeing quicker results. Regardless of the reason for the relapse, it is important to remember that relapse is not a reflection of your support or your loved one's motivation for getting better. Remembering that relapse is a part of the change process will help you and your loved one to be resilient when you hit bumps in the road. You can see that although the relapse stage is listed as the last stage in the stages of change model, it can also be considered another starting point along the journey of change. Thank you very much for your interest and attention. We hope that you learned from this video series and will continue to use it as a reference as you and your loved one work together towards wellness. For additional resources, please visit our website at familyaware.org.